Hey, I'm Daniel Gritzer from Siri Seats, and today I'm going to be making carbonara sauce. Carbonara is a Roman pasta sauce that combines eggs, pork, cheese, and plenty of black pepper. Carbonara is a fundamentally easy sauce. The one hard part is bringing all of the ingredients together in a way where the eggs don't scramble. You definitely want to use freshly ground black pepper, not stuff that comes out of a tin. You give this a good whisking, and it's all pre-mixed and ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna render this guanciale. A couple tablespoons of olive oil. Do 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 do. Cook in some pork. If we go a little gentler on the heat, we can render more of the fat before the guanciale gets too brown and crispy. With a lot of pasta, you can actually cook the pasta al dente or just a little bit shy of al dente, then put it in the sauce and then finish it in the sauce on the heat. That's not possible here because with the eggs, I can't finish the pasta in the sauce on the heat or I will just end up with pasta with scrambled eggs. Let's find out. Oh, that's it. All right. Now we're gonna give this a stir. It's also good to let it cool down a little bit here because it's really shocks of heat that are gonna cook the egg. What I like to do, my little trick, is to combine the pasta with the sauce in this mixing bowl that I already have set up and then set that over my pot of water and use it as a double boiler. That's the safest way to heat and thicken the eggs with the least chance that I'm gonna scramble them. And now we go into our mixing bowl A little fresh oil. Take about a half cup of the water that I used to boil the pasta. And I'm going to stir that into this as well. That's gonna loosen this sauce up. Okay, now you see this is nice. The sauce is kind of loose, but a little bit too loose, which is fine. And it's not scrambled. I've had no scrambling happen to my eggs yet. Okay. Now I wanna stir this the whole time that it's in my little makeshift double boiler because the egg could still scramble with enough heat. I'm gonna keep it moving. And I'm just gonna do this until the sauce hits that perfect silky creamy consistency coating all the noodles, which it almost already has. It doesn't take long and we're out. 